Good morning, team. Happy Sunday. Welcome to another Battlesnake Sunday community tournament. This is our second weekend of this community tournament number two, featuring snail mode again. And this is our, our second chance bracket. So last week we did a bracket with all of the snakes that entered for this community tournament. And this week we are going to do another one with some of the snakes we didn't get to see enough last time. Some snakes that got knocked out early and a few newcomers that joined the Discord and community within the last week or so. So we are going to get started in just a few minutes. I hope everyone is having a good... Or it's Saturday. I usually do these streams on Sundays, so I... Uh, was a day off for a second but i hope everyone's having a good saturday and let's start out with chatting about what is battlesnake so let me switch my screen here and here we go so what is battlesnake quickly if you stumbled upon this stream and don't know what we're talking about battlesnake is an online programming game where you control one of these little snakes over here so how it works is you write a web server that gets the full game board. So it gets where all the snakes are, where the red food dots might be, and where any hazard trails might be, and sends you all that information each turn. And your snake just needs to decide which direction it wants to move, up, down, left, or right. And the goal is to be the last snake on the board alive. So outlive your opponents and maybe trap them. And uh, there's all kinds of fun strategies we can get into and uh, some fun ones we will see today as we get started with the tournament and running some games. So let's pull up the brackets here and we can take a look at some of our competitors for this morning. Here are, uh, here actually, before we get into this bracket, let's take a quick second to look at the bracket from last week. So this was the full bracket from the community tournament number two in snail mode hey backward spy thanks for tuning in um so last week our champion was shapeshifter by jonathan arns not overly surprising shapeshifter has been super dominant dominant in recent memory oh but good job jonathan on the win and so yeah we had 25 snakes for last week's tournament um so we had one uh one we had two starting rounds and then the quarterfinals and if we scroll all the way down here, we will find the semifinals and finals. So this was a really good tournament last weekend, and I had a lot of fun. Hey, Jay Lafayette, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, yeah, so this was last week's tournament. We saw some awesome snakes, um, and then Shapeshifter took away the tournament. So the snakes that you see in white here in round one and two are snakes that didn't make it to the quarterfinals or semifinals and these are the snakes we're going to see again this week because we didn't see enough of them last week so justin boundless scuttle coil bin snake snow snake first snake rail snake one akira suboptimal and g boat greatest battle snake of all time Python Python, Sir Tiger, You Serpent, Warm Snake, and I think that might be it. Those were the snakes that we saw for a little while last week, but we didn't get to see enough of, so they are going to be back today, plus one or two competitors that just joined recently. So let's actually just go ahead and pull up those brackets. Okay, so this is our community tournament second chance so let's zoom in a little bit here maybe yeah and let's take a look at our groups so let's see in group a here we've got first snake by krunal 375 we've got g boat greatest battle snake of all time by aaron cohen 21 we've got sir tiger by poopy dog love the branding and you serpent by Utakarsh Adj or A G G. Um, if you are hanging out in chat and I get your name or your battle snakes pronunciation wrong, please let me know. Um, but that is gonna be our round one. First snake, G boat, Sir Tiger, and you serpent. And let's check out our group B here. Group B is gonna be Akira by Main Kronos, Justin by Justin, Vatten by Vatten. 
Vaden, I believe, is one of the new members, joined the Discord recently and was able to get a snake added for this, so super exciting to see. And we got Snow Snake by Justin J. Milner, doing that nice white snow color that's impossible for us to see. Trying to, trying to hide from the other snakes there with some camouflage, maybe. So that's our group B, Akira, Justin, Vatten, and Snow Snake. Let's check out our group C here. In group C, we've got Bin Snake by AF7567. I love the... Are you showing the groups as you're talking about them? I'm just showing the... Oh, wait. Is my stream not on the right thing? Thank you, Jay Lafayette. What is on your screen right now, OBS? Sorry about this, team. Technical difficulties. Give me just a moment. You all are seeing this still. Um, Let's try changing back and going back to this one now. Uh-oh, team. We're having some technical difficulties. Yeah, it looks like it's frozen. Exactly. Um, let me see what the best thing to do here is. Okay, let's see. If I hide this, are you gonna just stop? Yeah, okay, cool. So it just removed it from the screen. Let's see if I can add it back. Add a new one. Oh, okay, that's the wrong window. Sorry for the, the recursion. There we go. Oh, except that's huge. You get to see this live, team. Sorry for the technical difficulties here. Oh, but now I've scrunched it. Do, 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 do. Okay. And let's make this just a bit bigger. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Jay Lafayette, for letting me know. Would have been no fun to keep going and not have you guys see what we needed to. Okay. So let's go back in and chat about Group C, who you can hopefully see on screen. We'll go do the other groups again after this, since apparently we were having some technical difficulties. Okay, so Group C, we got Bin Snake by AF7567. I love the, the shebang Bin Snake executable style. Super fun branding. Um, and then next up, we've got Python Python by Davis Stanko. And then Warm Snake by Career77. And Suboptimal by B. Campbell. I love some of the brandings here. We got Warm Snake with a, a new color, or maybe not new from last time, I think, but a non-default color, but a pretty default snake. And then we've got some really fun brandings on these other ones. I'm a big fan of the the submarine head and tail on Suboptimal here, especially with the sub branding. It's, it's, a, it's a good name there. Okay, and let's check out Group D. Group D is our last group, and it's going to be a three-snake group. So, well, it may be a little easier to get out of this group into our semis, but that doesn't, you know, could be a good competition. In Group D, we've got Boundless Scuttle Coil by Chill Fox. We've got Rail Snake 1 by JDB1662. And we've got The All-Seeing Eye by That Random Person 5. Um, the All-Seeing Eye by That Random Person 5 is another new Battlesnake competitor that just joined the Discord within the last week or two. So welcome and good luck in the tournament today. Thank you, Jay Lafayette, for confirming that this is looking better. Okay, so let's go back and do Group A and B since you all couldn't follow along when I was screen sharing that first time. So Group A, we've got First Snake by Krunal. We've got G-Boat, Greatest Battlesnake of All Time by Aaron Cohen 21. We've got Sir Tiger by Poopy Dog. And we've got You Serpent by Utakarsh AGG. And then Group B, we've got Akira by Main Kronos. We've got Justin by Justin. We've got Vatten by Vatten. And we've got Snowsnake, Snowsnake by Justin J. Milner. And I like that both of the um Snake matching the developer names are in this group B. Just funny how that worked out. Um, and then group C and D, I think we saw on stream. So with that, I think we will jump right into our first game, everyone. So let's kick it off with the first round, or round one, group A, match one. 
I will get that pulled up. Go back to the normal zoom level. Hmm, need just a second here, team. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. Getting this pulled up. Here it is, Group A, Match 1. This is going to be the first game of our Community Tournament Second Chance Edition. So I think I'll do a countdown to get started here. Let's get started on this Battlesnake competition in 3, 2, 1, Battle Snail! I remembered while I did the countdown to do Battle Snail for our snail mode, and wow! 17 moves in and we already got a winner with Greatest Battle Snake of all time. I was just too busy chatting to see what happened. Let's rewind and see how this ends really quickly for everybody. So Greatest Battle Snake of all time kind of just looks, looks like they go for the center food, and everyone else kind of takes themselves out. So first snake up in the top left corner goes for the tail chase, but their snail tail hazard sauce just doesn't work out for them. And they get eliminated by the hazard really quickly on turn six here. And then you serpent and Sir Tiger, what are they doing? Sir Tiger's up here in the top right. Um, it looks like they're both doing okay for the moment. And then Sir Tiger just goes, ah, oh, the hazard stack is a little more deadly here. And Sir Tiger just goes through the hazard sauce and... Oh, nope, they could, They don't have a way out here. Both left and up are, are hazard sauce. So, so trap themselves there. And then I think you serpent does basically the same thing. It looks like these group A snakes might need a little love on uh, the hazard avoidance. But great job, greatest battle snake of all time. You have made it to our to round two. Or actually, I think you now advance to the semifinals because we only have 15 snakes today. So we will see you in the semifinals. Good job, Aaron Cohen 21. Okay, that was a real quick one. Let's get the second game pulled up here. And I forgot to do the whole which side of all the snakes are on, so let's do that here this time. Okay, so this is Group A Match 2. Hopefully we got a little bit of a longer game than last time, just because I think longer games are exciting to watch. But we'll see. Okay, so we've got... So, I guess I should do a little bit of an explainer of how this tournament works if you are new around here. So how it works is we are in the first round right now, and if you win, you're going to advance to the next round, which in this case is going to be the semifinals, I believe. Um, and so once a snake advances, we're going to pull it out of that group and let the last, the remaining three snakes, or remaining snakes, fight it out and see who the next person to advance is. And we'll do that for all of the rounds, including the semis. And then in the finals, it'll be the first to three wins. But we'll chat about that when we get there. Um, so the greatest battle snake of all time, G-Boat, got pulled out and advances to the semifinals. And we are left with first snake in the top right corner here. Sir Tiger in the bottom left corner. And you Serpent in the top left corner. And let's see who else will get out of this Group A match two. Hopefully we get a little bit longer. Sir Tiger, though, yeah, was doing some hazard sauce and didn't make it too long. First snake got a perfect tail chase here. So this is really important in uh, snail mode. First snake really likes the tail chases. And I think um, in the last game they were trying to do the tail chase, but they only were length three and not four. And in that case, there was a hazard sauce that was spawning in the middle and, and drained their health really quickly. But this time, first snake got to that even four and is able to tail chase for 72 turns and uh, basically just wear out everyone else. I like that strategy, first snake, kind of just staying alive and letting the other snakes trap themselves like you serpent does. You serpent gets into this bottom right corner here at the end and has some outs up. But I'm wondering if it's avoiding going near first snake and just traps itself and has no way out. And first snake, congrats! You are going to advance to the semifinals with that chicken snake uh, spinning strategy. Look at that one millisecond response time. Congrats, first snake, on advancing. Unfortunately, you serpent and sir tiger. That does mean we won't be seeing you again in this tournament. I don't believe. But that's okay, we'll do another one of these tournaments here in another month or two and hope to see you again. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's get Group B pulled up and see what snakes we have in store for Group B. 
Ooh, so yeah, group B is where we have the snakes that are named the same as their developers, which is fun. Let's get that pulled up, and we'll look at all the snakes again. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on. We've got Akira by Main Kronos in this nice blue color. They're going to be the easiest to see here. Um, They're on the left side here. We got Justin by Justin up top. We've got Snow Snake in the snow goggles and barely visible gray color down on the bottom here. And we've got Vatten by Vatten over on the right side. And let's see how this Group B match one goes and who is going to join First Snake and Greatest Battle Snake of All Time in our semifinals. Let's get it kicked off. Okay, so. Oh no, Akira just moved up and out of bounds. Looks like Akira might not have been ready. We did get some warm-up games in, but unfortunately doesn't seem like it was enough to wake up Akira. We also lost Justin to some hazards. We'll rewind and see that in a minute. So we've got Snow Snake and Vatten battling it out. We're making it to about 100 turns so far. So this is our longest game so far, I believe. Mostly hanging to themselves, except at the end here, Vatten just... Just takes a right turn here instead of a left. I don't know why, but they, they kind of get trapped without a way out. They do get food at the end, but doesn't help with just nowhere to go, and they run into their own body. So congrats, Snow Snake, on the win and the advance. That camouflage strategy looking like it's paying off. Let's rewind and see what happened at the beginning here. So it was pretty early that we lost our other snakes. It was just that and then Snow Snake for a while. Here we go. Here is Justin. So what happened to Justin up here? Kind of got aggressive and went after Snow Snake. Um, and didn't have enough length. Only four versus Snow Snake six. So can't go for the head to head. And avoids it. But kind of just gets trapped in their hazard sauce. Oh, and they go for the big one. They go for the big hazard sauce dive. Maybe down they could get out, hard to say, but the, the one to the right definitely was too much for them. And I think if we rewind all the way, I think unfortunately we see Akira just throw in errors on each of these and just runs up the top of the board. Hate to see it. But congrats to Snow Snake for the good win and advancing to our semifinals. We'll watch it in really quick speed. There we go. Good job, Snow Snake, and let's see our round two. Let's see, Vat and Justin and Akira, who will be the second person to advance. Let's get that game pulled up here. Okay. Okay, group B, match two. We've got Akira down on the bottom. This is probably the best spawn we could get for Akira. If they're just going to go up the whole map, at least they get a start on the bottom. It gives them a few more turns um, before they're going to hit the top of the board. Um, Justin by Justin is over on the left. And we've got Vatten by Vatten up top. It does feel like this might be a Justin versus Vatten match, but we will see. Maybe Akira will wake up and surprise us. We'll cross our fingers for you, Akira. Let's get this Group B match 2 started. Okay, it does look like Akira is just going right off the board, kind of as expected, unfortunately. No fun, but we get to see Justin and Vatten battling it out. Ooh, and a relatively quick one. Vatten is going to come away with a win. Good job. We got pretty close. Uh, the snakes were like pretty close to each other, not uh, hanging out on their own sides of the board. And what is it? Justin just goes right into the really dead, deadly hazard. This is probably one, two, three, four, probably five hazard stacks here, doing something like 70, 80, 90 damage. Just doing that math in my head. So Justin just can't, like, even with almost full health, just can't, um, can't survive that hazard dive. And that does give that in the win. And I don't know why, it took me till just now to realize that Vatten and Justin are actually not the same color. Looks like Vatten's got this nice dark, maybe purple color going. That's fun. Took me a while to see that though. Um, okay, so congrats Vatten on advancing and Justin and Akira. I'm sorry, we'll have to catch you in our next tournament. Vatten, we will see you again in just a few minutes for the semifinals. Okay, we are... Rocking and rolling through these games today, team. 
it does help that we're doing them. the games are ending a little faster it feels like and we just have less to get through so i think we're gonna do a nice quick speed tournament today almost not on purpose but i think that's how it's gonna work out i will pull up our group c snakes here now Ooh, fun we got some more colors on this one i felt like in this last one we just we didn't have a lot of color going on i'm a fan oh there we go I'm a fan of all the colors we have in this round. Let's say hi to all of these snakes quick. In our top left corner with that that sleepy smile or something <laughs> is Bin Snake by AF. Oh man, I can't read the numbers on the on the small screen here. Um so I'm going to not try. <laughs> um but Bin Snake in the top left. We got Python Python in the bottom right with a nice dragon head. Suboptimal in the bottom left with the submarine, and warm snake in the top right with this nice blue color. And yeah, I agree, Jay Lafayette. Just some really good colors. This one, this one's got a bit of difference, but they all feel like they go together. Um, last week we were talking about. I think for one of these community tournaments, we might have to actually try to do some color coordinating groups. Maybe we'll have to have to have have the groups be by theme or something, and we'll we'll manually do some color coordinating groups. I think that would be a fun tournament at some point. But that's not for today. For today, our Group C match one is going to get kicked off here in just a second. One more time, we got Bin Snake up top left, Python Python in the bottom right, Suboptimal in the bottom left, and Warm Snake in the top right. Let's see how Group C goes. Okay. Everyone seems like they got their food on the side. Python Python with a bit of a length advantage. All four snakes alive so far. Better, or uh, the longest four snakes we've seen. And as I say that, Bin Snake gets eliminated. Sorry for the caster curse there. Um, but three snakes at 80. Oh, and I say that again and someone gets eliminated. I need to stop. Warm Snake got eliminated by the hazard there as I was talking. And is that the end? Yeah. We, you could kind of see it there for a few turns. Python Python turned around. And they're long enough that their tail does get out of the way, and it looks like they might be able to escape. But they're long enough that these snail mode hazard trails are just way too deadly, and they don't have a way to turn out and just have to run into the wall. Or it does look like they take the hazard trail, but still not enough to make it out. And congrats, Suboptimal! by B. Campbell for advancing to our semis. That was a good one. I liked, I think this was one of my, my favorite matches so far. All of our snakes stayed in for a little longer. Let's see, when did we lose our first snake with Bin Snake? Okay, so about turn 50 or so. Ooh, is, oh, Bin Snake and Suboptimal, they both have an option to go for this head-to-head -head tie. Bin Snake goes for it, would have taken the tie. A suboptimal opted out, meaning Binge Snake gets the length advantage there. Seems like they, they could have a good way out here, but they choose down. Oh, and then suboptimal gets another food, so we're both at 7 and 7 here. Okay, that was that was closer than I expected. So now Binge Snake can't go down, because suboptimal can go for the tie here, at least. Um, and that causes them just to have nowhere to go, and they get bitten by their own hazard tail. That was a really good play, suboptimal, kind of forcing forcing that uh that that, that not head-to-head -head, but forcing that hazard dive by binge snake and then how did we lose warm snake uh, it was about 30 turns later or so warm snakes going down for this dive in the bottom left corner and suboptimal yeah suboptimal just puts the pressure on uh suboptimal does have the length advantage here so can put pressure on warm snake and just Traps them in the corner with their hazard tail. This is a really good game, Suboptimal. I feel like you really put the pressure on all of the uh, the opponents and, and came away with that win. Really good match. And so with that, Suboptimal, you are going to advance to our semi-finals. And we will see Bin Snake, Python Python, and Warm Snake again for our Group C match 2. Okay, let's pull that up. Do, 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 do. Okay, Group C match two. We've got Bin Snake in the top left corner, Python Python in the top right corner, and Warm Snake in the bottom right. 
I feel like this is anyone's game here to see who advances to the semis, and I think this could be a longer one. I'm excited to see it. Let's get it kicked off. Group C, match two, coming at ya. Okay, everyone gets their own food. And let's see, Bin Snake has the length advantage. Oh, uh, they do now because Python Python got eliminated. So we got Bin Snake and Warm Snake battling it out in a duels here. Uh, about the same length. No one's being super aggressive, kind of just minding their own business at the moment. We got a little bit of an advantage to Binge Snake on length, but it's 10 versus 11. Oh no! Warm Snake. Oh, okay. So I saw the timeout here, or the error, and got really scared for you, Warm Snake. But it does look like you were at least trapped up there. Might not have been a real error as much as a I don't know what to do kind of thing. So. No fun to see you get eliminated, but at least it wasn't on a timeout. Those are those are no fun. So we lose Warm Snake to this corner. Just too much hazard sauce, not a way out. And good job, Bin Snake. You are advancing to our semifinals. And I didn't see what happened to Python Python with that out of health. So let's rewind and see what's going on at the beginning here. Did Python Python just truly not have a way to get to the food? So they get an initial food. And they do a good job of avoiding the hazard for the most part. Okay, so that's where they lost most of it. They went on a big hazard dive there. And then I think they just don't have any food that they can get. Yep. And they're going for this tail chase and they just run out of food. Oh, that's really interesting. Since they ran out of health here, they must have been only on one health before. Um, that hazard does spawn where it wasn't because of the tail chase. Just looks interesting. So, sorry Python Python. Looks like you will you are not advancing to our semifinals. So congrats to oh man, I don't want to say it in case I got it wrong, but I believe it's Bin Snake who is advancing to our semifinals. Yeah, congrats, Bin Snake. And with that, we've got one more group to see before we're headed to our semifinals. So let's get this group D pulled up. And in group D, we only have three snakes. So we're going to start with three, and then we'll get to a true duels next with only two snakes on the board. Okay. Ooh, I like, I like these colors. They're all very different. Won't have any trouble telling them apart. We've got Boundless Scuttle Coil by Chill Fox in the bottom left corner here. We've got Rail Snake 1 by JDB in the top right. And we've got the all-seeing eye by that random person in the top left. And this will be a little different. We only have three snakes this time, so it could be a slightly different matchup. We will see how it goes. Let's get this group D match one kicked off. Oh, I don't know. We'll do a countdown for this last group. I feel like we're running through these so quickly today. I need to kill just a little bit of time. Let's do a countdown for three, two, one. Battle snake. We did Battle Snake this time instead of Battle Snail. Gotta switch it up. Okay, so Rail Snake 1 is going real hungry, has a huge length advantage, 12 to 5, and gets the win. A pretty quick 41 turns, but already at 12 length. Boundless ran into their body here. Uh, looks like Boundless has lots of options. Unfortunate that they, they ran into the body there. And what happened to the All Seeing Eye? All seeing eye. Oh, maybe just squeezed in the middle here. Yeah, so not too many options for the all seeing eye. They actually have the length advantage, so they maybe should have, could have, should have gone down here and put pressure on Boundless Scuttle Coil. Um, because yeah, Boundless is avoiding that head to head there. And the all seeing eye unfortunately chooses to go up into the, the heavy hazard sauce and is eliminated by the hazard there. So good job, Rail Snake 1. You were looking really aggressive with the food, but got big and was able to come away with a win and advance. Yeah, J Lafayette, these are quick ones. We're we're rolling through these games. It helps when Rail Snake 1 only took 41 turns here to come away with the win. Um makes for a nice quick tournament. We'll probably take a quick break after Group D and just chat some to, to draw it out just a little bit more. But Railsnake1, congrats on advancing! Let's pull up match two here. So this is going to be our true duels with just two snakes. Oh, and look at this. 
they they get some pretty close spawns not a not a opposite sides of the board which is a little interesting we've got boundless scuttle coil on the left and the all-seeing eye up top let's see who this will be the, the winner of this will be the last snake to advance to our semi-finals so good luck to boundless scuttle coil and the all-seeing eye we'll see who is going to advance to the semis with us Okay, and let's get this match kicked off. They both avoid their food and stay in real small. Um, four and five length. All seeing eye. Oh, the all seeing eye did go for some food there and got a bit of a length advantage. And I thought they were gonna uh, maybe be able to to do something fun with that, but unfortunately, they just go for that off by one tail chase with snail mode. It's real dangerous to do those tail chases when you're at that odd length. Because the hazard saw spawns behind you. And that's what happens, I think, to the all-seeing eye here. They just dive into that hazard sauce. And it's stacked enough with their 7 length that they don't stand a chance and are eliminated. So good job, Boundless. Staying um, alive, staying small, and making it to our semifinals. Okay. So there we go. Nice and quick. That is our groups today. So let's take a second and take a look at the brackets for the semifinals. So I think the easiest way for me to do this actually is I'm gonna quickly take a screenshot of what the brackets look like in my admin dashboard and then drag this over here so you all can see. Okay, here are the brackets for our semifinals that we will get kicked off. And while we chat about them, I'm actually going to make sure that we get the games running so they run smoothly. Um, we already did all of our test matches, so I'm just going to go ahead and run the semifinals, mostly just talking out loud. Okay, so while those run in the background so we get a nice smooth viewing, let's see who our snakes are going to be today. So in our semifinal A, these are going to be the same as the group rounds we just did where we're going to get two snakes to advance. So the first snake to win will advance, and then we will do another round with the last three. And so we'll get two snakes advancing from each of this A and B for our four-person final. So in our semi-final group A, we've got first snake, we've got boundless scuttle coil, we've got snow snake, and suboptimal. And then in our semi-final B, we've got bin snake, Greatest Battle Snake of all time, Rail Snake 1, and Vatten. So I think these are going to be a real good finals, and we got the first match run in the background. So let me pull it up, and we will get going. Okay, how is everyone doing on this Saturday? We are having an awesome tournament here. Nice and quick, but I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you all are as well. Okay, this is going to be our semi-final A, match one. And let's see, we went over them, but let's see where they all are on the board. We've got First Snake in the top left. We've got Boundless Scuttle Coil in the top right. We've got Snow Snake in the bottom right. And we've got Suboptimal in the bottom left. Ooh, this is going to be a fun one. I'm looking forward to this match. We've now got to see all of these snakes already, so I'm excited to see how this semi-final A goes. And just by how long the game took to prepare, I do think this is going to be just a hair longer, which is always fun. I like the long hands. They're fun to watch. Okay, so let's kick off our semi-final A match one. Which of these four snakes is going to be the first to advance to our finals? Will it be First Snake? Will it be Boundless Scuttle Coil? Will it be Snow Snake? Or will it be Suboptimal? Let's find out. Okay, oh no, First Snake went for that tail chase without the food and unfortunately eliminated. Suboptimal lost with a head-to-head -head with Snow Snake and we're down to Boundless and Snow Snake. Um... Snow Snake has a bit of a food advantage, but Boundless is keeping up. But as I say that, Boundless unfortunately gets themselves trapped in their own little snail trail hazard sauce and doesn't have a way out and is unlimited. So good job, Snow Snake. Great game. 
And good job advancing to our finals. Let's go back and see where we lost Suboptimal and First Snake. I think First Snake was doing the, the spin to win style at the very beginning. Yep. If only they had eaten that first food right there, First Snake might have survived a little longer. But that three length tail chase is just so dangerous in snail mode. But let's watch Suboptimal and see what happens to them down here. Oh, okay. So both Suboptimal and Snow Snake look like they're going for this food they both chicken out and no one goes for it but snow snake does it so they can get it on the next turn or you know go go and do a little roundabout that gives them the length advantage and i think yep that's it suboptimal has a 50 50 right snow snake might go down they might go left and either one of those is a loss for suboptimal um and without knowing exactly this might be too much hazard sauce to get out of so unfortunately suboptimal just has that hard 50 50 to choose from neither option is great and gets eliminated there and then let's go a little bit more and we'll check out one more time what happens with boundless oh wow look at that boundless scuttle coil here threw some timeouts for a few turns but luckily able to recover before they hit the wall that's awesome to see no fun for to lose on a timeout for sure and then, yeah, here's the end where, yeah, luckily there's no timeouts for Boundless at the end, but just gets trapped in their own snail sauce trail. So good job, Snow Snake, for advancing. You are our first snake to advance to the finals today. Awesome to see. I think the camouflage white is really working out for you, Snow Snake, hiding from everyone else on the board. Let's pull up the semifinal A match two. And actually, before I do that, let me get semifinal B running in the background. Perfect. Okay. Semifinal A match two. So we lost Snow Snake, or they advanced, and we will see them in the finals in just a minute. So we've got first snake in the bottom. I really hope they can eat this food and get their four tail chase. But we will see. Found the scuttle coil on the left and suboptimal up top. So these are the snakes in our semifinal A match two. And we will see who advances with Snow Snake to be our second snake in our finals. Let's kick it off and see how this semifinal match goes. Okay, one more click. There we go. Okay, we are off. Suboptimal gets their food and the middle one meaning they've definitely got the lead here um first snake and boundless are both just at four hanging out saying small first snake's doing their tail chase thing oh and boundless comes in with the aggressive head-to-head -head. saw that first snake was just chilling and spinning and was able to time the perfect head-to-head -head. boundless oh perfect got that food um suboptimal has the huge advantage on length 17 versus 8 but boundless doing a good job staying to themselves and not getting trapped in anything oh and look at that suboptimal's long length of 18 i think worked against them here made it so they kind of trapped themselves boundless does a good job cutting off this bottom left out suboptimal can't really go up through that hazard up top just not enough health too much hazard and just gets wrapped up. Their tail is way too far away to get out of the way. And Boundless, good job advancing to the finals. That was a good one. Um, I really thought Suboptimal with the length advantage there might pressure Boundless a little more. Um, but it, Boundless did a great job of like getting the, the, you know, they're leaving their trail of hazard sauce here, boxing in Suboptimal um, and coming away with the win. Actually, here, this one is, is the interesting move, I think, for Suboptimal. It looks like up might have been the way out here, but the left here might have been might have been the last the, the last decision point that was the downfall here. But great job, Suboptimal and Boundless. And actually, I want to rewind to see Boundless aggressively with the head-to-head -head on First Snake here, kind of towards the beginning. I really thought First Snake we were going to see until they just ran out of health spinning at the bottom. But Boundless and First Snake both at four here, but Boundless just grabs a food, gets that one size advantage, and just sees that First Snake is just spinning and can time this head-to-head -head really well and gets the head-to-head -head win. Great job, Boundless. Good job advancing to our finals today. This was a really good semifinals. 
I'm sorry, Suboptimal, that we will not be seeing you in the finals. You had a great outing today, but maybe next time. Okay, so that was semifinals A match two. And we have two snakes already advanced to our finals. We've got Snow Snake and Boundless Scuttle Coil in our finals. And let me pull up our semifinal B round one, and we can get familiar with these snakes. Okay. Um, let's see. Semifinals B match one. Our four snakes competing are Bin Snake in the left side here. We got G Boat, greatest battle snake of all time, on the right. We got Rail Snake one up top. And Vatten down at the bottom. Let me do some admin stuff over here. Awesome. We've got both of these games ready to go. And we are ready to get started with the semi-final B match one. Let's see who makes it to our finals. This will be the third snake joining Snow Snake and Boundless in our finals. Let's see who it's going to be. Oh. There we go. Everyone eats their own food, and everyone goes for the center, causing a bit of mayhem. Greatest Battle Snake of all time got it, but then got eliminated. We also just lost Rail Snake to some hazards. So we've got Vatten and Bin Snake. Ooh, and they both have this, like, almost black color, but neither of them are actually black. Don't know if I realized that last time, but that's really cool. We got, like, a green, I feel like, to Bin Snake, and this dark purple for Vatten. Super fun. Um, But while I was way too focused on colors... We got our first win here for Bin Snake. That and just ah oh, the wait, what's going on? What happened here with the? Oh, I thought Vatten went up for the tail chase, but they did not. They went left into this hazard sauce and just too much hazard, and unfortunately eliminated. They do have the the perfect even tail chase up as a safe move, but unfortunately they go for the hazard dive and get eliminated. But Bin Snake. Good job advancing to our finals. Okay, so we've got three snakes in our finals so far, and only one more snake to join them. Let's get our semifinal B match two pulled up. Okay, semifinal B match two. So which snake is going to be our last snake to get into the finals here? Is it going to be Greatest Battlesnake of all time in the bottom left? Will it be Rail Snake in the bottom right? Or will it be Vatten in the top right? Could be anyone's game. I hope we get a nice good semis here. I love watching these ones. So let's kick it off and see who can be the last snake to make it to our finals. Okay, so I think everyone ate their first food. We've got about the same lengths. Oh. Oh wow, that was a quick one. Only 23 turns. That might have been that might be the quickest yet. Not positive, but maybe. Okay, so let's just it's a quick one, so let's start from the beginning. Um everyone eats their first food. We've got nice four lengths. And then I think greatest oh, greatest battle snake of all time gets this food spawn to the side. Definitely eats it to get the advantage. Um then Rail Snake 1 got that center food. Yeah, everyone's doing pretty good on getting food. What happens to Greatest Battle Snake of all time here? Oh, they just they just choose to do some some hazard diving. They have lots of options, but they decide the hazard sauce just looks too tempting and follow it for a few turns, and that is their undoing, unfortunately. And so we've got Rail Snake and Vat in left. Um, and it looks like Oh, um, Rail Snake, again, you had a you got a better out over here to the left, but goes for the heavy sauce diving up top and once they went up just neither left or right is a safe move and they're eliminated by the hazard so good job that and being our fourth snake to make it to our finals so let's see let's pull up our finals here and see what snakes made it through i think i'm going to do the same trick i did last time that seems to work pretty well I've got a screenshot that I took before I started running the games in the background. And here are our finals brackets. So our four snakes are going to be Bin Snake, Boundless Scuttle Coil, Vatten, and Snow Snake. And I think we'll get a little Twitch uh, prediction poll going because those are always fun. 
So I'm going to do that on my computer because it's easier. So I'm going to switch what you all see to a different view, I think. There we go. And then I can pull up this on my screen. Actually, as I did that, I realized I probably didn't need to because you don't see my second monitor, but that's okay. We can look at the nice um, snail mode graphic that my wife made for us. Um, okay, let's see. I want to run a prediction here. Yeah, right. This is going to be an interesting one. I also don't really know who I think is going to come away with it, Jay Lafayette. It feels like a really, a really tight one. So who will win the finals here? Except not the same snakes as last time. We've got Bin Snake. We've got Boundless Scuttle Coil. I'm trying to make sure I spell these right as I type them in quickly. We've got Vatten, and we've got Snow Snake. Okay, so these are our four snakes. We'll give it a two-minute submission period. It means I only have to kill two minutes while we get the vote up. So let's get this prediction started. Who will win the finals? We've got... And actually... Let's see, we can probably just at least hang out and watch the um, the board. Let me find where I have the tournaments pulled up. I'm losing my tabs here. Sorry, team. Okay, let's get this first game at least on the screen enough so that we can see who our snakes are going to be. Okay, yeah, perfect. So we're not gonna start this yet. We're gonna we're gonna let this prediction run for sure. But here are the four snakes in our finals. Um, oh, and actually, I need to switch back because I realized you couldn't see that yet. But now you should be able to. These are the four snakes in our finals. We've got Bin Snake down in the bottom right corner there. We've got Boundless Scuttle Coil in the top right. We've got Snow Snake in the bottom left. And we've got Vatten in the top left. The colors here are really interesting. We've got a lot of almost blacks, that almost white, and then Boundless throwing it off with that, that nice bright green making it easy to spot. Um, so yeah, these are going to be our four snakes. Let me see how this prediction is going over here. We've got one, well, we've got uh, some votes for Bin Snake. I'm going to guess that's one person and everyone else doesn't have any votes so if you want to spend some of your teamwork tokens or think you might know who's going to come away with the win here you have a chance to to win some teamwork tokens here by my choosing our winner and actually while this prediction finishes let's chat about how the finals are going to go so unlike the other ones we've done so far the finals are going to be the first to three wins so we're going to keep playing until one snake has got three wins under their belt and they will be declared our winner so we could see up to what is it i think nine games if we get an e really even uh is it nine seven nine because you could do two for the two wins each for the four snakes and then that ninth would be the third for one of them i believe so we could have a nice long finals here um it's the first to three so a little longer than our prior rounds and uh should be a great finals let's see okay it does look like that poll got closed let me just confirm that that is what happened yep and we got two votes at the end we got one vote for bin snake and one vote for boundless scuttle coil so we'll see here will vatten or snow snake be able to do an upset and everyone will just lose their teamwork tokens or will one of our two participants steal the tokens of the other with bin snake or boundless let's find out this is going to be the finals match one. So we're in the finals. Let's do one more countdown to get this started and see who will it, uh, be our winner of this community tournament number two second chance edition. Okay, yeah, we got some boats for Boundless and boats for Bin Snake in chat. I like it. Thank you, Backwards Buy and Jay Lafayette, for hanging out with us and betting some of your teamwork tokens. Let's see, hopefully one of you will walk away with some more and we don't just zero you both out. Let's find out though, this will be the finals match one. Let's get started in three, 
two, one, Battle Snake. And okay, we are all still on the board, and we lost that, and as I said that, but we've got the other three on the board kind of congested in the center. Boundless is kind of crammed, but Snow Snake actually got eliminated by running into Boundless at the bottom. And oh, Boundless just ran out of health there. Oh, hate to see those. Just couldn't get to a food quickly, had avoided this one early on, and uh, just... Just, oh man, I really thought Boundless was going to be able to get food there, but didn't. So good job, Binge Snake, getting the first win. Binge Snake was kind of just hanging out up top, kind of minding its own business, it felt like, for most of this match, and came out and worked well for him. So let's rewind. Let's see what happened. Vat in here. We lost early. I think they ran into someone's body. Let's find out. Oh, ah, no, Vatten just got eliminated by Hazards, going through some, some sauce dive, tail chasing, and just didn't have enough health for it. And did we lose Snow Snake to a body? Let's see. Yeah, so this is when everyone was going towards the center here. It just looked real crammed, and uh, I actually thought Boundless was in a tough spot, being right between the two. But uh, Snow Snake, ah, yeah, see, Boundless kind of boxes Snow Snake in. Snow Snake doesn't have a good way out and then just runs into Boundless's body there. It looks like they maybe had a way to try to, like, get behind Boundless's tail, but it's hard for me to count. Um, but that was how we lost Snow Snake, and then we lost Bound. Ah, yeah, see, Boundless took some hazard dives here. That wasn't helpful for the health. Um, yeah, and just avoided a few pieces of food that might have been helpful to avoid uh, running out of health here. But that that is how how it turned out for Badless, just or Boundless out of health here in this last move. Oh, that's actually really interesting. We get an out of health, and I think Boundless knew it was out of health, but they actually went down for a, a, a body dive here, and it's funny that out of health is what it shows instead. But congrats, Bin Snake, for the first win of our finals here. Okay, so let's see who can get another win under their belt. I have to pull up all of my right tabs here. Okay, there we go. I will get match three running in the background while we get match two pulled up. Okay, so like we were saying before, this is the final, so we are seeing all of these snakes again, and binge snake um, is coming off hot off their one win, and let's see if they can get two under their belt here and try for the sweep, or if another snake will be able to get a win under their belt, and hopefully we'll see some more finals. So Binge Snake, our, our winner from our first match, is down in the bottom right here. We've got Boundless Scuttle Coil in that opposite corner on the top left, Snow Snake in the top right, and Vatten in the bottom left. Let's see who can get a, well, a first or second win under their belt in our match two here. Let's see how it goes. Everyone eats their initial food and goes towards the center. It looks a little packed, but everyone is making their way out. Um, we're about 50 turns in with all four snakes, which is a lot of fun. Sometimes we haven't seen that, and then we lose two right away. Oh, and then, wow, a head-to-head -head between Boundless and Binge Snake to get the second win by Binge Snake. Great job there, Binge Snake, getting a second win under your belt. Oh, really interesting here. Boundless goes, has less health, or yeah, has, well, does have less health, but has less length than Binge Snake. So up seems like a not super safe move. Left and right look better, but just goes up and unfortunately taken out head to head. Sorry to see Boundless, but good job, Binge Snake, on that second win. How did we lose our other two snakes? It was pretty quick. So there's a lot of hazard sauce going on and not a lot of places to go. I think we almost lost, not on the same turn. So Snow Snake here maybe has an out if they go right or up. Hard to see, but it's definitely not super for sure. But they choose down here. And then unfortunately, Boundless's body and their body really just get in the way. Oh, one second, team. Oof, I had a sneeze coming. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so... Uh, Snow Snake just went down, didn't have a way out. Actually, wait a sec. If they go down here, and Boundless, oh, Boundless does go for the tail chase. Like I think Snow Snake has a few outs. It's hard to say if they can definitely get out, but I don't think they need to run into their body there. 
But that's how we lost Snow Snake, and then how do we lose that in here? Just took a little bit of a hazard dive, and yeah, just goes for too much hazard sauce. Took the rest of their health away, and that left us with Binge Snake and Boundless for this head-to-head -head ending. Good job, Binge Snake, getting two wins under your belt. Okay, these finals are getting interesting. Are we gonna see a sweep by Binge Snake? Or is someone else gonna come away with this match three? Let's get this game pulled up. Okay. Match three. So, Bin Snake on the left side here is trying to come away with their third win for a sweep of these finals. Can Boundless up top, Snow Snake on the right, or Vatten on the bottom? come away with a win to stop the sweep or is bin snake just gonna take these finals by storm i'm actually hoping it's not a sweep just to keep things interesting says jay lafayette yeah sweeps are kind of fun but i do like seeing more games of finals so i think i am also rooting for 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 something else other than a sweep just to just to extend these finals and give us some more tournament today but we shall see this could be the end of our finals and our prediction poll and since it could be the last, let's do a countdown. I guess I'm just setting myself up for a countdown for as many games as we have left now because they could always be the last, but that's okay. Let's see who can take away this finals match three in three, two, one, Battlesnake. Okay, everyone gets their own food and goes towards the center, makes it chaotic. Snow Snake's out in the top left. We've got that and Boundless. And Binge Snake, oh, Boundless just got trapped between the other two, kind of sandwiched in the middle. And Binge Snake comes away with the sweep. What happens to Vatten? Vatten just is trapped in the hazard here. Yeah, Binge Snake has the size advantage here when they're both um, down in this area. Vatten can't go right, has to go left, um, and just gets trapped down here and eliminated. Great job, Binge Snake, on the win. And that does mean it's a sweep here. We don't get any more finals. Good job, Bin Snake, just controlling these finals and not letting anyone else have a chance. I'm paused on this turn because I think Vatten actually has a, has a tiny way out here. They're at that even length, so they could tail chase here and at least get out a little bit of this. But they didn't see it, and that is a win for Bin Snake. Great job. Okay, and that is going to be our finals. Congrats, Bin Snake, for taking it away. Let me go finalize this prediction now. Bin Snake will win. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jay Lafayette, for, for trying to join the countdown. I was kind of curious what the three was there, but but I like it. I'll have to remember to, to give you more permissions next time so you can pull that off better. But congratulations, Jay Lafayette, on your 1,000 teamwork tokens, stealing them from Backwards Spy there. Um, and that's going to do it. That wraps up our finals here today. Let's take a look at the bracket. Yeah, so many channel points. <laughs> And okay, let's finalize the tournament so we can all see the bracket results. And okay, I can pull this up on stream here now. And I thought I just released these so everyone can see them. There we go. Our champion is Binge Snake by AF7567. Congrats on the sweep super deserved win and uh yeah thank you all for joining me this was a really fun time i'm glad we did the the second chance community tournament this weekend it was a lot of fun seeing some of these snakes again that we didn't get to see in um, enough games last week so this was a lot of fun um thank you for all the competitors and again congrats to bin snake on coming away with the win um, and I think we're going to wrap up here in a minute. I don't have too much outro-y stuff to do. Um, but if you are hanging out and enjoyed this tournament and you are not already playing Battlesnake or in the Discord, you should head on over to play.battlesnake.com. You can learn about what Battlesnake is, check out the docs site, get a snake created. And if you want to come hang out in the Discord with everyone who is in Twitch chat and many others, 
you can scroll all the way down on the page to the footer and click this nice little Discord link and you'll get a invite to the Discord community where we've been setting up these tournaments and chatting snake strategies and all kinds of other stuff. So we'd love to have you. And with that, I think we are going to wrap up here today. Thank you for joining me. I guess I'll do just a tiny um, outro about myself here as the host. And then we will get off today. So I'm Corey. I've been doing streaming for about five or six months now. I do a lot of Battlesnake stuff on the weekends. Uh, usually Battlesnake Sundays are where we've been working on either one of my snakes or some Battlesnake related projects. Um, we aren't going to stream tomorrow with the tournaments these past few weekends, but I'll be back for a Battlesnake Sunday next Sunday um, on like, what is that? The 21st, I believe. I've also been doing streams on Wednesday evenings where we just do some project work. Recently, I've been working on my blog, rewriting it in Rust, um, kind of from scratch and just kind of exploring how that looks. So having a lot of fun with that. And if you would want to tune in for that, come check out my GitHub or Twitch profile. You can get a link to the Twitch with my full schedule and everything there. And with that, I think I am going to get offline for the day. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the tournament. I had a great time. I hope you did, too. Thank you to all our competitors. And one more time, congrats to Binge Snake for coming away with the win. Um, definitely check out the Battlesnake Discord if you're interested in more t community tournaments. We'll get another one scheduled. It might not be for a few weeks. Well, I won't get it scheduled, but we will get one on the books so everyone can prepare. And maybe we'll do something different than snail mode next time. If you have any ideas, come hop into the Discord and let us know what you think would be fun. And with that, I'm going to get offline. Thank you, Jay Lafayette and Backward Spy for hanging out. And I hope everyone else has a great Saturday. Thanks, and I will see everyone soon. Bye. Uh-oh, there we go. Took me a sec to find the right OBS setting, team. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a good weekend.